everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. I hope it is going amazing with all of you today and right now in this video I have some new exciting news for all of you regarding Project Aurora aka Warzone Mobile. So if you didn't know, invitations for Warzone Mobile have started being sent out. So in this video we are going to discuss everything you need to know right now regarding Project Aurora. So let's start off by taking a look at one of the invitations for Project Aurora aka Warzone Mobile. It starts off as follows, congrats, you've been selected to join the close alpha for Project Aurora. We're entering a new era for mobile games and you'll be one of the first players in the world to go hands on to help us test this brand new mobile experience that brings the thrilling and large scale action of Battle Royale to iOS and Android. If you choose to participate, you'll play an important role in development by providing feedback, joining us in the future discussions and being part of an emerging community. The close alpha is limited both in regards to the number of participants and how much of the game is available to try out. If you would like to participate, then please click here to opt in and review our privacy policy. You will then receive a confirmation email from us in the next 24 to 48 hours. So okay, very, very interesting stuff. So now let's discuss how you're able to take part in the Project Aurora Alpha. So to start things off very simply, you're not able to apply to be part of the Project Aurora Alpha. The way it works is you are invited to take part in the Project Aurora Alpha. Now what I mean by that is, is that Activision is sending out invitations to certain players through email to take part in the upcoming Warzone Mobile Alpha. Now how are they selecting these people for the Alpha? The short answer is, it is unknown, we just don't know, but what I think is happening is, I think they are sending out invitations to people that have Call of Duty slash Activision accounts and obviously play Call of Duty Mobile, and obviously those people meet some sort of requirement. Now the way they're selecting the individual players and what requirements are required is unknown, but it seems like anyone can be invited. So I would recommend checking out your email that you do have linked to COD Mobile and see if you were invited or not. It's definitely worth checking out because I saw a ton of people posting on Twitter that they were invited. So it seems like anyone can be invited to the upcoming Project Aurora Alpha. Now let's check out some other important stuff also included in this invitation email. Uh, they said, while we appreciate the excitement and enthusiasm of our fans, this time the close alpha is private and all participants are subject to a non-disclosure agreement and NDA. Players will be prompted to and must accept the NDA upon launching the game in order to participate. So essentially what that means is once you launch the game and accept you are not allowed to share anything regarding the game. That means streaming the game, taking screenshots of the game, screen recording the game or talking about the game to other people you are not allowed to do any of that things. Everything has to be kept a secret. And if you do share anything, Activision can take legal actions against you. So everything obviously has to be kept down low. It is behind NDA. Also, what is the purpose of the closed alpha? It is for stress test matches, find and fix bugs, get feedback on all aspects of the game, share insights and updates on development. Also, is the content final? No, alpha content is not final and is subject to change. Is it the final quality and bug free? No, you may encounter bugs and rough edges representative of an early alpha build. Will there be updates? The game will be updated throughout the closed alpha. Now let's discuss the actual device requirements, the device specs. 
At the first phase, all the Close Alpha has the following requirements for high-end devices. Phase 1, device specifications. iOS, iPhone 12 Pro and Max, iPhone 13 Pro and Max, 6GB devices. For Android, you either have to have a Samsung S20 and S21. Now, before you start stressing about this way too much, don't stress about this at this point in time. At this stage in an alpha, they're not really caring too much about optimizing the game. They solely want to test the core gameplay and make sure that it runs correctly and smoothly. Optimization will come later on down the line. And also, as you guys can see over here, it does actually say additional devices support will be added in future versions. So as you can see, there is nothing to stress about right now. This is the first ever alpha test. That is why the requirements are so high. They're busy stress testing the game. Those requirements will come down as the game is optimized. Now I do think Warzone Mobile is going to be a high demanding game, but what we see right here is not what is to be expected for the final version of the game. Now moving on some more, this image over here was also included in the actual invitation email. Now obviously we can easily tell that that is the Verdansk map. So it does look like that we are going to be playing on the Verdansk map and that is not new information. We have known about that for quite some time now. So now let's check out the final thing they went ahead and said in this invitation email and that is that the close alpha will be starting in early June, which is actually kind of insane considering that is just a couple of days away. So the alpha for Wars of Mobile will be starting in early June. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope all of you did enjoy a ton of new news regarding Warzone Mobile, how the invitations work, and some more general information regarding Project Aurora. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. But for now, that's all from me. Have a great day. Catch all of you guys tomorrow for a new upload. And for now, squall out and cheers. Bye.